a lovely evening. You know, I am sure you would all agree there is no place like home. Imagine just for a moment not having one. No place to keep your things, to be safe, um, just, you know, to rest. Just imagine what that would be like. Most people do not realize that there are homeless families right here on the peninsula. It's an invisible population, staying out of sight in cars or with family and friends until they have nowhere else to go. They ask for help and are referred to Shelter Network. As you might guess, the economic downturn has resulted in a tremendous, tremendous increase in the number of people finding themselves homeless. Two years ago, we received 100 calls a week for services. Last week, 2,000 calls. For the past 23 years, Shelter Network has been providing shelter and support services to homeless families and individuals here on the peninsula in this community. Today, we operate 13 programs. Six are site-based and seven are scattered site support programs. Um, they're located throughout the peninsula and we provide critical, critical assistance that helps our clients succeed. Intensive case management, mental health counseling, housing and job search assistance, life skills education, and budgeting. In the past year alone, we provided shelter and support to over 4,300 people. That's nearly 900 families and over 1,700 children. But year after year, 90% of the families who graduate from our programs return to homes of their own in an average of 100 days. So let me tell you a story about one of these families. Karen was born and raised here right on the peninsula. She'd always worked full time. She was going to school part time and taking care of her three girls, um, 16, 14, and two years old. And those girls were her whole world. She never imagined she would become homeless, but when her relationship ended, she found that she couldn't make it on her income alone. Thankfully, she was referred to Shelter Network, an organization she'd never heard of. They were placed in a local motel until a spot opened up in one of our programs. And while they were in the motel, they were visited by a Shelter Network case manager. So, you know, they were scared and they imagined that they would be in a place like a big warehouse full of cots. So within a week, they were stunned to find that they were offered a two-bedroom transitional unit at Haven Family House in Menlo Park, not very far from here. It was beautiful and clean and the staff were welcoming and supportive. For the next few months, she received intensive case management and participated in numerous life and financial skill workshops. Her teens received counseling and participated in teen group activities, and her youngest was in our Therapeutic Child Development Center there. She recently was able to move into a new place to call home and is currently in our follow-up program and looks forward to being an active participant in our Alumni Association. She's also planning to return to school part-time to get her degree. You know, Shelter Network's programs work. Um, they're well designed and constantly evaluated. We expect our clients to, see, to succeed, and they do, day after day, year after year. The support that the Palo Alto Community Foundation provides is actually critical to our ongoing success, so I want to thank you so very much.